Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about uh, an exercise that I've come to feel like is one of the best ways to round out, say, a strength program if you're trying to add some aesthetics and just add some extra balance to your training, and that is a, a simple barbell curl uh, done for a full range of motion. Um, and, I, and I think the thing to remember here is that it actually really enhances all these other aspects. Okay, uh, obviously the aesthetic stuff makes sense, and I'll get to that in a minute, of course. But when we start looking at overall muscle balance and things that it brings to the table, uh, look at what all it does. I mean, the barbell curl is not just a bicep exercise. That's obviously its primary role. Um, the biceps are obviously going to get probably the most stimulus from it. But that's not the only thing that it's doing. All right, a few things to remember, uh, if done correctly, it really is a big uh, multi-joint exercise, okay? This can absolutely be part of your, your overall strength building, all right? You know, and let's factor in the fact that weak biceps can impact your bench press. They can impact uh, your deadlift, right? At least your injury risks on deadlifts. Being able to, to stretch the biceps at the bottom under load and lock the elbows, because if we do this correctly, right, if we lean forward on a barbell curl, what are we doing? We're stretching the bicep at the bottom, and we're teaching the bicep to stretch at the bottom. If you go to your full lockout, which is what I do, and, and I think people forget with me, they're always like, oh, it's not a lockout. I'm like, that's where my elbows lock out. <laughs> we have different joint structures. Just an FYI. So, because I'm going into a hang there and leaning forward. Um, side note. All right, this can help with your risk of bicep tears. Okay, can absolutely help. How about the grip training? You don't think this is extra grip training? All right, pretty heavy barbell curls are, are a grip exercise. Okay, because the way that we're having to hold it and then it swings down at the bottom. Right, that eccentric load. Right, this is a, a valid forearm and grip exercise. Now, obviously, performing it this way, we're trying to remove some of the forearm involvement. Again, if it's done correctly with the the elbows, I'm sorry, with the uh, wrist cocked back. Okay. Also gives you the best bicep stimulus as far as keeping it loaded at the top. But it's a valid grip exercise. What about the upper back? Your traps and delts get worked on this exercise. They absolutely do. Again, everyone who do, does these movements realizes it. Everyone who's even looked at, at different EMGs and stuff for, for these things are doing a standing barbell curl. It works your erectors, it works your traps, it works your delts. Okay? It's a full body exercise. It's a full body exercise. Bench press, biceps are one of the most important stabilizers. Right? So we don't need to be neglecting these. We don't need to neglect these. And then let's come back over to the obvious. Most serious we think of as strength type programs, if they're written correctly, they're going to put a lot of size on you. Obviously, most of our strength comes from our muscle mass, okay? The reason we oftentimes say that guys who train for strength don't look big is because people associate bicep size with overall size, particularly in pictures and scaling. I mean, obviously, if you're big and thick and massive and you walk down the street, you're going to look big, whether your biceps are big or not. But for some reason, uh, when a lot of people think of muscle, they tend to think of arms, right? That's what they really notice, and it's because it's been highlighted with, you know, uh, bicep poses and stuff over the years. That's what they associate with, you know, looking like a bodybuilder to the average person is arms. It's arms. And a lot of strength programs look like biceps. So if we're coming in and adding curls to whatever we're doing, what's happening? It's obvious what's happening. We're gonna train the biceps. 
right? I'm gonna train biceps. So then you, you ask the question, how does this help aesthetics? Because it's training the one muscle that plenty of, of strength bros lack. Hey, this will improve your overall aesthetics. Plus it increases, you know, shoulders. It's still a shoulder exercise, okay? In fact, if we wanted to add a couple exercises that would really work wonders, maybe a pullover or, or an incline bench added to the curl, okay? Complete game changers as far as the way your, your body's going to look. Because okay. most strength bros have massive glutes and hamstrings and, and all that. So lower body is pretty well covered. Hopefully your quads, I mean, if, you're, if you've got a big squat, obviously you should have big quads, depending on how you're squatting. You know, you got a big bench, you probably have pecs. Some strength bros like lats because they're not training them enough, but that's usually their uh, problems with their training if that's the case. But yeah, coming in and doing some barbell curls. Okay, and that's why it's one of my big five. You know, so in my case, that's what I'm calling my current big five is what squat, bench, deadlift, pull ups, barbell curls. Okay. If we need to cut down to the, the bare minimums, you perform those five exercises and you get really good at them. Or you're moving a lot of tonnage in a workout, meaning, I don't mean just your max, meaning your, your workload is high. You're going to look big and jacked. Okay. And I think the curls really kind of, the, the barbell curl really kind of adds that extra element. Because you know, I used to tell people we used to have the, uh, the overhead press in there, place of that. That doesn't compete, not at all, because it doesn't really add any more size than the bench does. Okay, barbell curl. I think that's really what we were lacking. All those years of me promoting a, a different big five, this is what I should have had as the fifth exercise. And I've come to realize that a decade later. I almost feel like if I was gonna write a new Ice cream fitness, I think you guys see where I'm going with this. Ooh, what if we could base it around those lifts? Except that noobs can't do pull-ups. <laughs> Unfortunately. But if they could, that would be money. You know, we're going to need to figure out how to make that work. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.